Hello everybody, my name is Andre Dula. Today we are covering the my Mattel T-Rex repaint and re-sculpt. Oh. We will be covering the re-sculpt, the repaint, the history of the film, such as the animatronic and the reason why it looks the way it does. And I will be covering bring what inspired me to make it it different. So we'll start the head. I have thickened up and heightened the brows to make it look more like the Roberta animatronic. If you did not know, they accentuated the brows to make it look angry. If you look at it from the front, it looks pissed off. And I also have made the, the bumps on the snout, the keratinous bumps, more, more focused. They're more high up. They're powerful. And I made the teeth sharper and glossier. As you can see, here yeah, I've also slightly pinkened the tongue from that bright red. And now we will, now that we've done talking about the teeth, now we will talk about the eyes. The eyes are a mix of acrylic and oil paint, paint over a slight clay wash just to give it a more bulged effect that the Roberta animatronic has. It's along the um the lid. If you have not noticed yet, the, the pupils are actually in alignment with the film, slightly off to the side, but still looking forward. We're kind of giving it a stupid gaze. Which was what they were going for. They were going for a British animal. Even though T Rex wasn't stupid at all, but that's another discussion. Um, now we will move on to the neck. Where I've not made many clay edits other than more personifying the scoots down the neck. Like, you can barely notice the difference, but it's there. It's much more of uh, the Jurassic Park T-Rex, it has much more of that neck ridge. And I've also added some more wrinkles. So when it turns its neck, it looks more believable. Instead of just being a big gap. If that forms and it like turns like that. And you can see the original paint, I think. So give you a little hint of what it used to be. Yeah, and that's about it for the neck, other than that I have also made the veins more obvious. The, um, the torso. The torso has added more stripes. It's made them darker, made the entire torso darker, made the whole thing darker. It's like yellowish, yellowish overtone, which is the entire movie's colour palette. It's mostly greys, browns, and reds. It's, um, the whitishness of the underbelly mixed with the orange. If you haven't seen the animatronic, then you wouldn't know what that's about. But if you do know the history of the animatronic, which I'm going to get to, you will know. Specifically the material is made out of. Um, the legs, I have bulked up. A lot, as you can see from the front. Like, it's just normally it'd be around here, but it's here. So it's much more muscular. It's much more wrinkled. The leg has that classic bulge. The feet are much, much slimmer, but their toes are actually longer, and they bulge out, and then they come to the claws. Whereas the the um, bird food are much more personified, they're very distinct. Like, this is the Jurassic Park T-Rex feet. The, um, the dew claw is also there. If you did not know, in the um, movie, the dew claw's claw is not painted. So if you look at it, they just put a bit of glossy paint over it. But it's actually brown like the rest. That fell, but whatever. Um, the tail, 
was the most difficult part because I needed to make it longer because the Jurassic Park T-Rex's tail comes out to like here on it, not here where the original one, the original toy is. It was as simple as adding some clay mixed with um, oil paint and it makes something similar to latex but hard. So it kind of bends, like really bends. So it is essentially homemade latex. It's a difficult thing. And honestly it was accidental. Um, the the tail, if you do not know, fades out into a more orangey colour from the rest of the body. The stripes are also more noticeable and it's slightly more white. You can see a mistake in the model, which is in the movie. There's a slight crease along here that I added in with some paint and Essentially, I just took like the brush with like one little bristle and just went like that to add the seam because basically it's made out of foam. The animatronic, wow. like in the movie, is made out of foam. So, with the latex covering that is spray painted or has a print on it. And what happened was that the rain soaked in and it made it really bulky. <laughs> Like really, really chubby. That's why the um the CGI model is much slimmer than the animatronic. It was supposed to be like that, but instead it came out. And you can see there if I pose it like this. That's the uh. That's what it was meant to look like. If it was the animatronic instead of the CGI model. <laughs> It would look very different, and the animatronic was glitching during the scene, so it would, you know the scene where it bashes down, it's gone. That was not supposed to happen, it was supposed to come up, back down, up, down, like it was trying to peck through the glass. But the director really liked that effect, like it was trying to bite through it, <laughs> so it stayed in the movie. It, it was, um... Honestly, I think it made the movie better because it made the T-Rex more ferocious. But if you look at the CGI scenes, they go boom, boom. That's what it was meant to be. And moving on, I am. We're going to come back to the head for something very special. If you did not know, during shipping, the T-Rex lost one of its teeth. This tooth here. I don't think you see it in the Jurassic World or when the Jurassic Park one. You see it from this side, but you can clearly see that one or two teeth are missing. And during the car crash scene, like where it bashes through, you can see here, the tooth snapped off. You can see it in the film. <laughs> but it, it's actually became Rexy's most defining feature, the missing tooth. Which is, I'd say, what makes Rexy other than scars. And if you look at this one here... This is the Jurassic World T-Rex. It doesn't look as mean as the Jurassic Park one. It has much more of an orangey grey tone, while this one's much more vibrant. It, it's more realistic, it's more of a jungle. It's not the open plain design. And, and what's it called? Um, if you've been long enough around, been around long enough, you'd recognise this guy. But you wouldn't recognise this guy, because I did do a previous repaint, which was supposed to be based off the novel version. I did another T-Rex to base on the novel. I'll do another video on that. And I'm going to wrap it up, because this video has gone far too long. So, like and subscribe, to the laugh, au revoir, bye bye.